Bags under eyes. Are there any methods other than lower eyelid surgery? I'm 52 years old male, living in Florida. I was told about lower eyelid surgery for $2,000 with Dr. Bazin in Vieira, Florida, but did not like all the side effects, especially blurred vision. Is there any other method to tighten that skin under my eyes? Tom in Florida. Thank you for your question. You're 52 years old and you submit a single full face photo showing significant bags under your eyes and you describe your consultation with the doctor and that you want to, you were concerned about the side effects of having lower eyelid surgery and so you want to know if there's a non-surgical alternative. Well, I'm a cosmetic oculofacial plastic surgeon practicing in Manhattan and Long Island for over 20 years and the non-surgical approach uh, it has been the holy grail for dealing with what is clearly a very straightforward anatomic issue. The bags under your eyes is caused by something called fat prolapse and because it's fat, it's a physical volume, it is something that has to be approached surgically. Now, yes, it is very important to be aware and informed of all the possible side effects and potential complications. There has been a real trend in the world of cosmetic surgery for the past 30 to 40 years, and that is towards specialization. And I think for someone like yourself, you are very concerned about complications. Well, every study that is done about the type of area that a surgeon specializes in versus a generalist always shows that a specialist in a focused area has more experience and usually gets consistently better results. That has to do with any type of surgery. If you're a general surgeon and you do a lot of hernia surgery, you have a lot of experience in that area and so you become very proficient and you become very good at that. What does that also mean? Your complication rates become lower. It also means you accept more complex cases, so that's a different, that's a different discussion. When people come to someone like me, they are very often like you, and they're concerned about complications and undesirable results. When they know about my background from having an eye surgery background, specialization in plastic surgery of the eyes and my experience of 20 years, I, when we review our informed consents, I say these are possibilities but they're unlikely because this is what I do every day. I think that you're lo you're looking for a non-surgical alternative is not going to be successful for you. We, as surgeons, we wouldn't dress like this and do this type of work if there was a non-surgical alternative. So I think that you, you should gauge your level of comfort and confidence with your doctor. I am in no way casting any judgment about your doctor. I think that you need to know, it has, does your doctor do a lot of this surgery? Does, he ha does this doctor have great results? Do you feel comfortable with this doctor and, I, and do you feel confident that they'll do a great job for you? And then it becomes a question of how bad do you want to get rid of the bags and how much risk are you willing to uh, accept? That being said, have this discussion with your doctor. See what the relative risks are. Eyelid surgery is one of the top five most popular cosmetic uh, surgical procedures and so realize that the volume of surgery that's performed, although there is a certain percentage of people that do have complications, if you look at the data carefully, you can see that general plastic surgeons tend to have a higher rate of complications than specialists. But of course, it, that's, not, that's a general term. It's not a hard and fast rule. It's really more about individual surgeons and their style and what they do. No specialty has the has all the best talented people but certain p areas you can you will be able to make that uh, have that understanding if you wanted to go beyond me, uh, the opinion of your doctor for an additional opinion 
or, or, or to just explore your options. So again, to summarize, there is no non-surgical procedure to de deal with the puffiness that's under your eyes. Surgery is the best option for you. Your job now is to decide how you want it done and if you would like to move forward, understanding the relative risk of the procedure. So I hope that was helpful. I wish you the best of luck and thank you for your question.